All right, so as per requested, I'm going to show you guys how to reflow this Honda main relay. Very simple. Um, after you get it out of your vehicle, it doesn't take much to fix this thing. So uh, for starters, I'm going to go through the tools that you're going to need. Uh, solder, all right? Get yourself some nice flux core lead-based solder. The reason that these things fail, two reasons. They didn't use enough solder in the factory, and they weren't using a lead-based solder because of... Uh, health regulations. So get yourself some solder. Life hack tip, this is an awesome way to store solder if you're on the go, all right? Just coil it up around the outside of this. Take the end off, shove it in there, kind of coil it, tighten it up. Boom, you got yourself a nice portable solder container. Next thing you're gonna need is some flux. Uh, this is commercial standard flux. You guys probably aren't gonna have anything like this. Uh, but you can get Flux Amazon, you can get a pen for like $7. Super cheap, super, super necessary. You can do this without fluxing, but it's not going to turn out the best uh, that you can get it. Next thing you're going to need, obviously, a soldering iron. This is a very nice soldering iron. Um, most people don't keep their tip tin. Tinning your tip, all it is, you get the soldering iron hot. And you apply solder to the tip, like so. It's going to give you a nice tin tip, clean it on a wet sponge. You want your soldering iron tip to be nice and shiny without any pits in it. That's going to give you your best solder connection possible. Uh, a few other random odds and ends I would recommend. Uh, get yourself some acetone. Uh, this is really helpful for cleaning your electronic connections. And get yourself some either Q-tips or I have these uh, nice wooden Q-tips. All right, so let's just get on and get doing this. Make it short, sweet, and simple. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna look at your main relay. Notice you have this tab facing this way away from the bracket. You're gonna wanna put it back in exactly how you got it or else it's gonna make it difficult to remove in the future if you have to pull it out. It's not gonna make it impossible, but when you put it back in, you're gonna have to twist your pigtail and like I said, your locking latches are gonna be in the back, which is against this. You don't want that. So first things first, you're going to just kind of pry that open. There's that locking tab. Just kind of get the red past the locking tab. So as you can see, it's kind of keeps it open right there. Flip it over to the other side. Do the same thing, kind of pry it out a little bit. Get them past those locking tabs. You're just gonna take it and it'll slide right out like that. Pretty simple, all right? So you got your insides of your main relay right here. Now what happens is they don't add enough solder to these connections here, and after years of you know, Honda abuse, they crack, go bad, and then your car starts intermittently or runs intermittently. So uh, you could probably skip the step, but I like to do this, pretty simple. Take a little acetone, and you're just going to kind of clean up clean up the board a little bit. There's going to be a lot of leftover flux from the factory, and most of this flux is going to be like 30 years old. So my opinion, I just get it off there. You don't necessarily have to, but when I'm working with electronics, you want to be as sterile as possible. Um, I know this isn't anything special, but I'm an electrical engineering tech, so I'm kind of anal when it comes to my soldering and wiring. All right, next step, so after you clean it up, you're gonna take some of your flux, very, very simple, and you're going to very uh, sparsely apply it to each one of your uh, connections here. Now what this is gonna do, this helps the solder flow. Um, it is very useful in soldering, I recommend always fluxing whatever you're going to solder. I don't care if you're just soldering two wires together. I flux the shit out of it. So just, I'm kind of being a little bit messy. You don't need to be this messy, but for the sake of trying to get you guys a short DIY video, that's what we're going to do. So just kind of get all your connections just, just wet. They put way too much on there, but whatever. Um, it's really sticky, it's hard to clean off, but it's not gonna affect anything if you get too much on there. All right, so we got all of our connections ready to be soldered. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to clean off my ironing tip. I'm going to retin it. 
and then I'm going to start soldering. Now, you don't need to apply much heat to these. Uh, just basically enough that it flows. It's going to smoke a little bit. Add some solder. Get it flowing. Add some solder. Get it flowing. Add some solder. Which actually, I'm going to turn up my iron a little bit. I'm running at about 700 degrees. I'm going to give her a little higher. Uh, any soldering iron you guys buy at like O'Reilly's, Walmart, anything like that, it's going to be like as hot as it can possibly be. It's going to be like 800 degrees, so you shouldn't have to worry about temperature. I'm lucky and I have this nice digital soldering iron that I can adjust the temp on. So just kind of reflow all your joints. And this is something that I feel like a lot of people are afraid of, but you don't need to be afraid of it. It's You're heating up metal, you're adding metal, you're removing heat. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Yes, you can fuck shit up. Usually that happens when you try to add too much heat though. So we're just gonna keep going one by one. Also, don't use a needle tip. Um, I would recommend a spade tip, but this is what I got right now, so this is what I'm going to use. As you can see, if you don't add your flux, it doesn't flow that great. And I've read before, there's only a couple of these that you generally probably need to reflow. But I like the better safe than sorry, and I'm going to reflow every single one of them. Uh, it won't take me much that much longer. I'm in here right now, so we're just going to do it. So you can see that glaze around that, that's all the leftover flux as you can see. Yeah, if you over flux, it's going to be a little messy, but that's okay. So there we go. I would call this a repaired and good to go main relay. Um, just double check, make sure you didn't miss anything. I mean, this one looks like it could be reflowed a little bit more. And after you apply the solder, it's not going to hurt anything if you go back and re-wet all your connections. However, don't sit there and apply a bunch of heat because you could potentially fry something. There we go. All right, so now I'm just gonna take a little bit of acetone again. I'm gonna try to clean the majority of all that flux off. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's going back in a Honda. You're never gonna see it, but I'm anal, so. I like all my shit nice and clean. Oh yeah, also note, depending on the flux you get, this stuff is going to be extremely, extremely sticky. If you spill it, you're going to spend quite a while getting it off of whatever the hell you spilled it on. So I recommend being careful with it. Um, I don't know how other fluxes are, but 
a lot of them that I've used are sticky. So there we go. We're all reflowed. Now I'm just gonna insert my relay back into its housing. Should snap right in. And there you go, you have a brand new ready to rock main relay. So yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching guys.